React India. Yeah. Hello. Hey, how are you? So good. Doing good? Enjoying the conference so far? Yes. Yeah? Great, great, great. So my name is Aishik Datta and I work for Publicis Sapien. And we are super excited to be here. Make some noise. And we have created a video for you. I want to show you a small teaser of it. Here it goes. Alright, did you like this little teaser? Yes. Yeah? yeah? So I must say that our video editor put in a lot of effort for this. Yeah? He was working through the... He was, wo he was working through the lunch, trying to get the audio sequencing right. Yeah? And I want to recognize this effort and say a big thank you to our video editor, who is... React! Wow! Were you surprised? Yes. Or did you guess it? You guess it, right? So this video was created using React. There was no real editor. And some of you must be thinking that what's so great about it? But videos like this, programmatic videos, when they are paired up with API data, they can give us personalized video contents. Right? And major brands, they are already harnessing the power of these videos to create great user engagement. They are taking up uh, user preferences and interactions to create content that generic content just cannot beat. Right? Say for example, Spotify rap. How many of you share your Spotify rap in your social media? Not a lot of people. But... In the social media, it's quite popular, right? And uh, Spotify gives you these videos in short format so that you can share in your uh, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. And it's a highly successful user engagement campaign, by the way. And what about not just a Cadbury ad? It was a great initiative to help local stores come back to their feet after the pandemic. And what they did was they used uh, Shah Rukh Khan's video and customized it using deep learning uh, to speak the store's name. And the ads, they were targeted using uh, the pin codes. But you can only go so far with this, right? So what they did is they allowed store owners to create their own videos, right? And share them in their own networks, like WhatsApp groups, right? So these examples that I just showed you had some form of programmable content in it. So the question is, how can developers uh, who are in the React ecosystem leverage the power of personalized content uh, to, in their workflows without becoming experts in Adobe After Effects? Like, it has a high learning curve, right? So the answer I give today is Remotion. Remotion is a library to create videos using React. And it brings the power of version control, parameterization, and composability to create videos. And these, uh, the core library is just a bunch of React uh, components and hooks. But what about experiences like this? Uh, any Black Mirror fan here? Great. We have a number here. So this was an interactive film where you were given choices and the video progressed according to your choices, right? And till the end, there were over trillion combinations to go about the storyline. So Remotion provides a Remotion player, which is an embeddable video player in your browser that you can use with your React yeah. apps to create similar experiences. And your uh, videos will start reacting to user inputs. And now you must be thinking that how does your React components become videos? And the answer is Chrome tabs and screenshots. So Remotion gives you frame numbers to work with. 
and you have to create UI according to that frame number. And once the renderer starts, it, allow, uh, it fires off a bunch of headless Chrome tabs, which starts taking screenshots of each of the frame. And then they are stitched together using FFmpeg to give you the final video. So enough talk, let's get started. Getting started is really easy. Just say npm init video in your terminal and you're done. You get an initialized remotion project. And they give you some templates to work with, but they are mostly third party uh, integrations. So a remotion project by its heart is just a React project and its entry point is a remotion route which allows you to define all your compositions. Compositions are component that hold all the renderable components. So you pass it the reference of the component that holds the actual renderable UI. And you also define the configurations of the video, uh, that is height and width of your view, uh, view frame, and the FPS, uh, like 30 FPS, 60 FPS, or lesser for the cinematic effect. And then you have got the duration in frames. So if you have a 30 FPS video for a 150 frames, you have effectively a five second video, right? And when we are creating code, use, uh, creating videos using code, a GUI can really help. Just type npm start and you get a visual editor. The visual editor looks something like this. You have the timeline in the bottom and the sequences come up in the left. So you can see and scrub through the timeline to help with your workflows. And the best part is you can visually edit your videos. Uh, you make props to your components and they show up here. You can change the inputs and voila. The uh, controls are also used to live update the props. And to get started, you need to use Zod schemas and you need to pass them to the composition. So let's start by creating a very simple animation. To get started, you need to import two uh, hooks, that is the use current frame and use video config. Use current frame gives you the current frame that is running from zero to the duration of the video. And use video config will give you the metadata that you declared in your composition. And then you can just pass it to your CSS properties and you get a very simple fade that runs for the entire duration. This is great for zero to one kind of a animation, but if you want to do something more, you can either create complex animations, uh, complex functions using your current frame or use something remotion gives you called interpolation. So interpolation is used to take inputs and map them into ranges of value. So now I took the frame and gave it to interpolation. And then I passed the output to my transform property so that I can get this vertical translation. Right? So let's combine those two. And now we have a logo that comes up and then the text. So what you can do is use sequence components which will ha uh, help you offset the video animations and you can achieve an effect like this. Now, these are still simple animations. What about animations like these? I'm sure you must have been facing these similar problems for your web apps, right? Like your dev uh, designer comes up with this crazy animation and you are like thinking, rethinking your career options, <laughs> right? So smart people at Airbnb came with this open source tool called Lottie. What Lottie, do, uh, what Lottie does is take uh, Adobe After Effects animations and export them into simple JSONs. And they are uh, computed at real time, so they are really light. And they are also cross-platform, so you can use it in your native app, web apps, and now your video projects. So you can start by installing Remotion Lottie, importing it, and you would also need render manipulators. So you will have actually have to fetch your uh, Lottie files. So you need to uh, indicate remotion that please wait for a while. And you do that by saying delay render. Then you fetch the data. And then you say 
continue render, right? And if you don't get the data back, just cancel it. And then you pass the animation data to the Lottie, anim uh, Lottie component, and you can get this great animation in your Remotion project without hassling with CSS and SVG. So not just Lottie, uh, Remotion supports many other uh, integrations like React 3 Fiber for your 3D projects, Skia, Figma, and many more. But are our or, uh, videos even complete without audios? Are they? No? No, right? So Remotion allows you to just drop an audio. There's an audio component, you drop it, pass the URL of your audio, and boom, you've got audio there. But not just that, you can also play around with your audio. You can trim it, delay it, control the volume, and even make visualizations out of it, like your audiograms for podcasts. And now we know something about making videos, but, and we have been using uh, the visual editor to see the video, but what if we want to make it into an app and want to render it? So you can use the Remotion Node APIs and they would help you uh, to render the videos server side. This is something that you cannot take for granted in the video generation space. But the problem here is you have to bring your own infrastructure solution, right? So you have to, at a higher scale, you have to think about things like orchestration, rate limiting, queuing, error handling, many more, right? So Remotion provides you uh, cloud solutions called Remotion Lambda. And what it does is it helps you to create workflows with distributed lambdas. And it's a cost-effective solution at scale. So what happens actually is your Remotion project gets uh, deployed as an S3 website, and there's a lambda that starts rendering it. It fires off multiple lambdas that takes portions of your videos and starts uh, rendering it, uh, screen, taking screenshots of it, and then they are stitched together by the main lambda to create your final video. That is then available in the S3 uh, bucket for you to download. So if you're thinking of solutions like this, please check out their official website. And I hope now you can cre uh, truly create videos and video apps using Remotion and React. So what can you create? You can create hyper-personalized advertisements. You can create mathematical visualizations for educational content. You can create interactive movies. You can create AI-supported uh, uh, subtitle generators. And you can create product trailers. FYI, uh, Remotion actually started uh, when the creator wanted to make a trailer for his app. So, and the uh, possibilities are limitless. Like, you can push your creativity with React and Remotion. So, 